In this video, we're going to go through this problem here where we are going to be using g as 9.81 meters per second per second. A lift of mass 50 kilos accelerates upwards at 0.3 meters per second per second, pulled by a light and extensible cable carrying three identical crates, A, B and C, each with a mass of 12 kilos, as shown in the diagram. So, first of all, find the tension in the cable. So, there will be tension in that cable. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, I'm, in order to look at part A, where I'm just looking at the tension in the cable, I'm just going to treat it as one object. Okay, so the lift and the three masses inside. So, think of it just as one big box. And there is tension in the cable. And it is accelerating upwards at uh, 0.3 meters per second per second. Okay? Now, what about the weight? Well, the weight will be, we're going to have a mass of 50 kilos, and we've got the three masses of 12 kilos each. So we've got 36 plus 50, so 86 in total, and so it will have a weight of 86 g. Now, g here is 9.81, so 86 times 9.81 is 843.66 newtons. So, if we resolve upwards, taking upwards as positive, we've got the tension, take away 843.66 is going to be equal to the mass, 86, times by the acceleration, 0 0.3, using Newton's second law. So we've got 86 times 0 0.3 plus 843.66. So we get 869.46 Newtons. And because we are working with 9.81, we should round that to three significant figures. 869 newtons to 3 sig fig. Now for part B, we want to find the force exerted on B by A. Right, so for that, I'm just going to focus on uh, particle A, or crate A. So let's just imagine this is crate A. So this was the lift, and now we've just got A. Right. Now, A is, uh, has got a mass of 12 kilos, so it's going to have a weight of 12g. So 12 lots of 9.81 is 117.72 newtons. Okay. Now, because it's in contact with the surface, it is in contact with B, which is directly underneath. There will be a normal reaction, because A is not going to be sinking into B. Okay, uh, so there'll be a normal reaction force, so let's call that RA. And it's accelerating upwards at 0.3 metres per second per second. Okay. Now, the normal reaction force that I calculate here... Um, will actually be the force that will be pressing down on particle B. Okay, that's what it will feel like. Um, because those forces are going to have to be equal and opposite. Because A is not flying off into the air, A is not sinking into the ground, and so that is what the force will be acting on particle B below it. So, Resolving upwards, as we did before, we've got the normal reaction force at A. Take away the weight, 117.72, is going to be equal to the mass, 12, times the acceleration, 0 0.3. So 12 times 0 0.3. And we should get 121.32 newtons, 
which is 121 newtons to three significant figures. So, essentially, A has a weight of 117.72 newtons, okay? But, as you kind of like, as you're going up in a lift, what you feel is that you suddenly feel like a bit heavier, okay? And so you're getting pressed down to the ground. So what's happening is that A is being pressed down towards B, and that's why the normal reaction force that we're getting here is slightly larger than the weight. Okay, so that's what's felt. Okay, so C. The force exerted on C by B. Now, when we're talking about particle B here and the force it's exerting on C, essentially, because B is already carrying A above it, we can just look at both particles, A and B, together, because it will have all of that pressing down. So we're going to look at this, which is A and B. So, because it is in contact with a surface C, we're going to have a normal reaction force, so let's call that RAB. And it's going to have a weight working vertically downwards, because it's two lots of uh, the masses, we've got 24g working vertically downwards. So 24 times 9.81 is 235.44 newtons. And it's accelerating upwards at 0.3 meters per second per second. So if we resolve upwards, then uh, we've got RAB take away 235.44 is going to be equal to the mass, which is 24, times by the acceleration 0.3. Okay, so this gives me a calculation to find RAB. So plus 24 times 0.3. And we get 242.64 newtons, which is 243 newtons, to three significant figures. Okay. Right, so part D. Find the force exerted on the lift by C. Now, again, just like we did here, we had both A and B pushing down on C. Now we've got both, well, all three, A, B and C, all pushing down on the lift. So, we're going to treat it like one particle. A plus B plus C. So there's going to be a weight working vertically downwards, which is going to be 36G. So 36 times 9.81 is 353.16 newtons. And there's going to be a normal reaction force. I'm going to call it RABC. And we're accelerating upwards at 0 0.3 meters per second per second. So if we resolve upwards, then I've got the normal reaction force ABC. Take away 353.16 is going to be equal to the mass, which is 36, times by 0 0.3. So the normal reaction force ABC is equal to 363.96 newtons, which is equal to 364 newtons to three sig fig.